What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Brent Watches Babylon 5 for the very first time. Today's episode is signs and portents. Now, if you're watching this as we broadcast this, this one might be a little late. My apologies. Real life happened this week, y'all. Not much I could do about it. Um, but uh, lots of fun stuff and other stuff. <laughs> which, which put this one out. So, I don't know if this one's actually going to go out before Jeff and I get to record or not because copyright claims and all that sort of stuff. So, hey, WB, you guys have been awesome releasing all those copyright claims. Please do this one super quick, okay? Um, with that, guys, we're watching Signs and Portents. I'm excited to get into this episode because, as Jeff has told me, and so many of you guys also, that the way JMS... Uh, plotted out the show he had the whole like five season run already in his head and apparently like each season is a chapter and so the overall chapter title of season one is signs importance and so this is that episode that is that deal i think on last week's episode by any means necessary i think it was last week they're all starting to run together i think i said that this episode would be something about the Centauri Narn War somehow being mixed up with the Earth Minbari War and the Vorlons are like masterminding the whole thing. I think that's what I said. I thought this was going to be. So I don't know. We'll see. Let's dive into it. Signs importance. Hey, you guys, thanks for stopping by here. You guys are awesome. Like, subscribe. If you haven't done all that yet, just like, subscribe. You know, it helps us out. It helps you out. And when you hit that bell icon, then you always know when one of these is uploaded and ready to go. You guys rock comment down below. I'll talk to you guys back as well. But for right now, I'm going to get into this week's episode signs and portents. Somebody's coming on the station and it's the big bad guy. Cause that's how they roll 430 in the morning. Log shows Ugh. No outstanding appointments. Grab it, store it, shove it. Clarification. Never mind. Mm -hmm. Apparently, Alexa doesn't get any better in the future. Why does my mouth always taste like old carpet in the morning? Unknown. Mm, morning breath. Checking medical logs. <laughs> How come she's waking up like as gorgeous as she went to bed? Like, there's no bed head. Like, her makeup still looks morning, perfect. Commander. Commander. They're coming in, taking evasive action. I don't know how long for the place. He's about to die. Yep. He's going. Okay, so that told us absolutely nothing. Raiders. That's what we got. Raiders are attacking. Okay. There's the bad guy. Walking alone through the bay. Yeah, totally the bad guy. hasn't been updated in a while By the time this you should not let him in absolutely not they should not let him in that dude didn't have a valid passport absolutely not you arrest him you put him in a holding cell you find out exactly who he is what he's doing there verify his identification they been security on babylon 5 Whew. we can't let this go on if we can't guarantee safe passage to the station it'll be tough not everyone files a complete manifest. A lot of them just mm -hmm. flat out lie. All we can do is try to help them. If they won't cooperate, then they'll just have to accept the consequences. I really like that attitude. But look, all we can do is help them. If they're going to lie to us, then sucks to be them. They're going to have to take that on themselves. I, I kind of like that attitude, to be honest with you. A moment of your time. I told you about the Battle of the Line. Oh, he's going to bring Garibaldi in. I couldn't remember. I need your help. Try and find out what happened and why. This is strictly unofficial. You don't have this to is take personal. You don't want to. Jeff, this is me, remember? They've been great. Said Jeff, this is Uncle Mike. <laughs> I was starting to worry if uh, you were going to come. Now we get to see what the bad guy is here for. Bargain. Just had to make sure your people did the same. And? I finally received confirmation Is this what he that found out on the rim? has been deposited into my account back on Earth. But I would very much like to know how you got your hands on this. No, he's not going to tell him. <laughs> oh, 
Oh no, that's the dude that came in. I thought it was the other guy. Oh, those are two different people. Oh, okay, I got that wrong. Londo and, Jak Londo and Jakar in the same scene. They gotta take an elevator. <laughs> this poor guy. <laughs> I hear there is a famine on your world's southern frontier. My condolences. Though I have noticed that your own people have continued to exploit this your guy. world's resources, now you can go to hell! And you can kiss my pouch, you! Kiss now my look pouch? What you made me do. He missed the elevator. That was like the longest elevator way ever. You still haven't answered my question, Ambassador. What do I want? I want justice to suck the marrow from their bones and grind their skulls to powder. <laughs> their sky, <laughs> their ground, soft. And then what? Dude, that's hardcore. Ground their bones to dust and their skulls into powder. I'm going to make flutes out of their bones. <sighs> what do you want? What do you want? Who is this guy? What is he doing? This is Ladira, my aunt, also the seer and prophetess and this guy is always skeezy like whoever whoever this guy is oh oh that's isn't that the dude that played um the the q that wanted to commit suicide in voyager isn't that who that is but he he almost always plays like a real kind of snake in the grass kind of a dude i want uh, he, he's the bad guy they're coming on the station that's the bad guy it's quite long and i don't know who this Can lady is quite the story yes, it is it is it's the q guy hmm? She's got a mole on her bald head. <laughs> Pain, death, fire. She's like a, a robe like Professor Trelawney type person, isn't she? After searching for so long, I would like to spend some time with it before turning it over to the Emperor. Ah, uh, he's stealing it. Of course. He's absolutely stealing it. Six to one. Have located target. Commencing surveillance. Okay. That's not what you want, guy, either, though. No. Just a moment of fatigue. Just a little triangle thingy. Better cover that up. Get out. Now. Telling you. And he knows something. This whole, look, this is all wrapping up, right? The Narn Centauri War is going to somehow be wrapped up with the Mimbari. And that's what this is all about. They're uh -huh. here. They're here. Who's there? Who is they? The Emperor mm -hmm. has not appeared in public for nearly a year, leaving his Prime Minister to act for him. But with, without his leadership, the Senate continues to lose credibility. That's it. He's going to steal that eye and declare himself as the new Emperor and set up. That's This is going to lead to like a Centauri Civil War or something like that. But that's, that's totally what this dude does. Evil guy. He's the bad guy. The eye belongs to my family, my house. He feels like he owns it. Should I give it to me? way too early in the show's run for the destruction of babylon 5 maybe maybe she's um sensing what happened to the past babylon stations like she's not seeing forward she's actually seeing backwards maybe that's what she's doing so cool that is so cool that's so cool oh I'm falling in love with these Star Furies. I really am. I didn't like them at first. I got to be honest with y'all. But I am falling in love with these things. Go get it. Zoom. Come on. That's your Stargate. We'll take care of Babylon 5 from this end. Oh, they're going to blow up Babylon 5. There goes Cobb. I'm telling you, the mastermind. He is the mastermind of it all. That's what I was going to ask you. What do you want? You are a lunatic. Go away. <laughs> Go away. Is that it? Is that really all, Ambassador? Here we go. All right. Fine. I want my people to reclaim their rightful place in the galaxy. I want us to be what we used to be. Make Centauri great want. again. That's far enough. Oh, dang. Uh oh, I he want just shot it out of his hand. Don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so, are these guys connected to the raiders? Like, is that what's going on? Those raiders were like uh, a distraction to get Ivanova and everybody the off the station while they did this. For. Return to base at once. There we go. Confirm Babylon control. 
Okay, that's a pretty cool about face right there. How did they do that? I didn't even see what like thrusters fire. Part of the next two hours. I'd always heard you were a smart man, Sinclair. Now move. Okay, so one of two things is happening right now. Either one, uh, he's planning on still using the eye and trying to take over the Centauri homeworld. So either he's going to take this event right here, what's happening, this kidnapping, this hostage, and that's going to be what, like, boosts him or gets him support among the Centauri. You know, because, because uh, uh, um, Londo told him, like, without support, you're going to be dead within a day. So this is what's going to get him that sympathy, that public sympathy, that that uh, deal to, to help push him over the top. Or, or he's in on it. He, uh, Kiro, set this up, and this is all an act. It's one of the two, and I don't know which one yet, but I know it's one of those two because that's how this stuff goes. Or he's going to die at the end. Maybe that too. No, I doubt. That's like 5% chance, right? Right now I'm leaning toward he's he didn't set this up, but he's going to use this to springboard himself into a coup of, of the Centauri homeworld. Kiro, no! Believe me, they're not going anywhere. They're not going anywhere. Yeah, you should get away from Believe me. The shadows are coming for him. What shadows? What is a shadow? Do we know what shadows are? Status. Have we heard that before? And trying to activate jump gate sequence. So does just everybody fly a, a Star Fury in the future? Is that how it works? Like everybody here drives a car, everybody drives a Star Fury in the future? Is that the Vorlons? Okay, wait. Moving in attack formation. Not Vorlons. Those are Raiders. Weapon systems locking on. Close blast doors. Prepare for attack. They weren't trying to get Ivanova and all the ships away so that they could steal Kiro in the eye. They were trying to get them away because they're going to attack Babylon 5. <gasps> the shadows have come for Lord Kiro. The is that like... Have come for us all. Is that their word for like death? Like the Grim Reaper? The shadows? Is that a Centauri thing? Ambassador Kosh. What do you want? Leave this place. They are not for you. Kosh knows who that dude is. He knows what's going on with that guy. Like they've met before. They are not for you. Leave. What is is he is he is he the shadow? Is he the shadow? Is that like like Delin was like, oh, get out of here, you've come, or something like that? Like, like are are these guys like the harbingers of death? And like the 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 Vorlon and the Mimbari know what that is, but the other people don't, except Lady Kadira or whatever her name is. Like she's sensing that. Is is that yeah, this is so 90s sci-fi, like early CGI, but I don't care. I'm loving this. This is great. Delta Wing. You've got their fighters, don't risk it. Commander. That's an order, Delta Leader. Let them go. I don't think she really meant the word nuts. What about our ships? Three Star Furies were disabled and had to be towed back for repair. Did what do you want guy do something to him? We lost two ships, Jeff. The Grim! She saw the Grim! Very convincing performance back there. Now, if you don't mind, please tell your cat. <sighs> sorry. He's busy. Stick him in. He was. He was a part of it. <laughs> Holding him until we need him. <laughs> With the ransom we can get for this, we are can these guys one, the shadows? Even two more. Is the shadows an organ of the hell? Shadows are like risk. something else. It's like something Natural mythical. Planet. Whoa. What is that? He just got it. <gasps> what was that? Who was that? Was that the Vorlon? Everything, guys, that's my, anytime I don't know something that's like going on, it's the Vorlon. I expect I'll be leaving myself a few days later. <laughs> Cause he's gonna get fired. He better not. He's like the best part of the show. Ambassador, you go away. 
It's late. I'm in no mood for your games. I'm leaving shortly. I got what I came for. Hi. Oh. How? Uh-oh. He gone. Where did you go, eh? We will find you, Ambassador. We will find you. Yeah, he's around the corner. Just go look, like, look around the corner. The Minbari government. They were the first to sign on to support Babylon 5 on the condition that they had approval over who was assigned to run this place. They wanted you. Why? What does that mean? Huh. Okay, that's got to be like Babylon 4 or 5 or 3 or not 5 like Babylon 1 2 or 3. It's got to be one of those. The future is always changing. Of course. We create the future. It takes all the teeth out of it. Our deeds and with our beliefs. Is that the end? All right. Well, that's it, guys. Signs and portents. I hate it when they do that at the end. I really do because they spend the whole episode bumping up this destruction of the station and she's freaking out over the um, uh, the vision she's having. And then she gets the thing and goes, well, it's only what might happen. You could still change it. Like you just you take all the teeth out of the vision when you do something like that. On the other hand, there is that like the hope of creating the future and it's not all destined and the destined, you know, the future is not written. You can still create it, all that sort of stuff, whatever. Anyway, uh, interesting episode, interesting episode, signs and importance. Um, how is this a narrative hook for the whole story? Um, well, okay. A couple questions we got out of here. There's the shadows and I'm, I'm interested. Uh, my, my lead theory on them is that it's a, um, it's like the grim reaper that we have in today's culture only like maybe it spans various cultures because like uh delin was all like you're it so this dude like what do you want guy somehow he's he's connected to that uh you know what do you want uh, he made that triangle thing come out of her head he met up with kosh and kosh was like they're not for you yet it's not their time or whatever he said and there was a moment I noticed, and I didn't stop to talk about it, but I noticed when Delenn was talking to uh, what do you want guy, the the lights dimmed and then came back up. Is that a shadow? Is that it, Was that a, a clue as to what all that's about? Now, there's also the whole raider thing going on, and the raiders tried to draw them out so they could attack the station, but they figured it out, so they sent the, the Star Furies back, and then they wound up defending the station. Um, but Lord Kiro got it in the end. Uh, but they're, they're separate from what do you want guy? Like they, those are two separate groups because what do you want guy? I'm guessing he's the one who destroyed them in that ship. Maybe it wasn't the Vorlon at all. They just sort of, um, decloaked and just, I mean, knocked the ever loving snot out of these guys that developed their own jump gate. I mean, they said it cost them every cent they stole over five years and they wiped them out like that. The station, all the star figures didn't even come close to that. So, so that's a pretty powerful deal. This is an episode that leaves us with more questions than it does answers. It doesn't, it doesn't tell us anything. So I don't know. I'm gonna have to sit on this one. I'm gonna have to chew on it for a little bit. Thankfully, I've got a day or so before Jeff and I uh record. Actually, it's not even, I don't even think it's a day. Like we're recording like within less 24 hours. So again, I'm going to get this out as soon as I possibly can, guys. It's just got clear copyright claims and stuff first. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Thank you guys for watching all the way through. Please like, subscribe, do all that sort of stuff. And uh, we'll talk to you guys down in the comments. Let me know what you think of this episode. Let me know. No spoilers, please. No spoilers. Appreciate you guys. We'll see you guys on Monday or next week for the next episode, whatever it is. I don't even know what it's next. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.